Welcome. This is the Green Bar Valley Church of the Nazarene with your daily devotion for Monday, March the 29th. Today we are reading from the book of Romans, chapter 6, verses 1 through 14. Here's the word of the Lord. What shall we say then? Shall we go on sinning so that grace may increase? By no means. We are those who have died to sin. How can we live in it any longer? Or don't you know that all of us who were baptized into Christ Jesus were baptized into his death? We were therefore buried with him through baptism into death in order that just as Christ was raised from the dead through the glory of the Father, we too may live a new life. For if we have been united with him in a death like his, we will certainly also be united with him in a resurrection like his. For we know that our old self was crucified with him so that the body ruled by sin might be done away with, that we should no longer be slaves to sin, because anyone who has died has been set free from sin. Now, if we died with Christ, we believe that we will also live with him. For we know that since Christ was raised from the dead, he cannot die again. Death no longer has mastery over him. The death he died, he died to sin once for all. But the life he lives, he lives to God. In the same way, count yourselves dead to sin, but alive in, to God in Christ Jesus. Therefore, do not let sin reign in your mortal body, so that you obey its evil desires. Do not offer any part of yourself to sin as an instrument of wickedness, but rather offer yourselves to God as those who have been brought from death to life, and offer every part of yourself to him as an instrument of righteousness. For sin shall no longer be your master because you are not under the law, but under grace. And that is the word of the Lord. Our contributing author this week is Daryl Keffer, who is from Three Rivers, Michigan, and he's a retired district superintendent of the Wisconsin District Church of the Nazarene. And his article is entitled, Wholehearted Devotion. The definition of death in a conceptual form is that it is the irreversible cessation of organismic function and the irreversible loss of personhood. Quite simply, it is the end. Some people in the church at Rome were under a misconception. They thought since God's grace is so powerful, perhaps it really doesn't matter if they continue to sin. In fact, since God's grace is so abundant, more sin must certainly mean more grace in their lives. Paul explodes when he hears this and swiftly responds. What a terrible thought. He challenges them to realize what it meant to be Christians. Life. To be Christian is to put an end to willful, sinful living. Today, many Christians seem to believe that it is possible to accept Christ without forsaking sin. Sin, however, leads to spiritual death. To wallow in it is unthinkable. The dual need of the human heart for both forgiveness of sins and cleansing from sin is as real as ever. Today, we need transformation, which includes both a deliverance from sin and a wholehearted devotion to God. Put an end to sin and come alive in Christ. The hymn is He Ransomed Me by Julia H. Johnston. What a Savior who can take a poor lost sinner, lift him from the miry clay and set him free. And from Isaiah chapter 4, verse 5, we read, Then the Lord will create over all of Mount Zion and over those who assemble there a cloud of smoke by day 
and a glow of flaming fire by night. Over everything, the glory will be a canopy. And this is your daily devotion for Monday, March the 29th. Have a blessed day.